Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm back with another scrapbooking process video and it is scrap five times. We have a really fun recipe for this month, which incorporates this mood board here. I thought it was so fun incorporating a mood board into the recipe. So we have to use that as our inspiration. We have to have a three plus word title, uh, incorporate a three by four card, use either Nouveau Drops or Enamel Dots and mat the layout on cardstock. So I thought that was really fun. It was a super different recipe than we had, had so far, uh, which was really exciting, kind of shake it up a little bit. Uh, as soon as I saw that mood board, I knew I had to go for this collection. This is Colorbox Mint Julep collection and it just like screamed this mood board. It has all the same colors, it incorporates butterflies. Um, it had some florals that were kind of very reminiscent of the mood board so i just knew i had to use it only problem is it is all scraps i mean that collection you see it there to the side there it, it's all scraps so i did have to go and find a background um i just flipped through that paper pad my sister had given me it has a lot of different marbles and wood grains and i decided to go for this really rich cross section of a tree trunk um, because it's more of a springy themed uh, design and because this is a camping layout i thought that was perfect and i thought it was really different it is not normal for me to pull out a wood grain like this when using a collection like this. <laughs> Especially because this wood grain's more photorealistic and this collection, the mint julep collection is very, has like animated butterflies and it's more cartoony. So I, it took me a second to kind of get past the juxtaposition of using them together, <laughs> but I kind of forced myself to do it just to see if I would end up liking it. Turns out pretty funky. I'm still on the fence if I like it or not, but it was a fun process to try and get this different stuff to go together. But the first thing I wanted to do was to find a solid cardstock to map this layout on because I knew whatever color that was, I was going to want to incorporate that into my layers as well. So I found this green, which matches this collection pretty well, but also matches the tent in my photo. Um, <clears throat> this photo is from the inside of our tent when we were camping in Helen, Georgia. It was really rainy, so I wanted to get a shot of me laying in the tent looking out um, just because it was so green and all the the rainy um, environment kind of made all the greens just pop and I thought it looked so pretty. So I wanted to record that. <laughs> uh, and I also have a patch, you can see in the upper left hand corner, a patch from Unicoi State Park. And I really wanted to incorporate that on this page as well, which is another reason I wanted the wood grain because I wanted there to be some brown thrown into all of these very springy pastels so that this patch wouldn't look too out of place. It kind of stu does still look <laughs> out of place, um, but I really, really wanted to incorporate it on the scrapbook uh, layout, so I end up getting it on there, but that's kind of what was going through my mind as that why I was trying to pull in different browns. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Yeah, I'm thinking it's going to sit there on the upper left hand corner because I'm building all these layers in the bottom right hand corner. So I kind of like that balance. But all I'm doing right now is just taking a bunch of these scraps and just sticking them together. <laughs> just trying to stagger them going out horizontally and then up vertically. And I had to get those butterflies on here because that just reminded me the most of the mood board. And then I'm just pulling from different colors from that paper so lots of greens some pinks I'm trying not to pull in the oranges I really did like this orange and pink floral you see to the left um, it really reminded me of that jellyfish picture that was in the mood board <laughs> um, but the orange was looking weird to me I don't know if it's because I had this brown but I try to stay away from the orange and stick more with these blues and a couple pinks <laughs> Um, but yeah, just staggering all of these different layers, still not sure what I'm doing with that patch. <laughs> um, but I think I'm almost done with my layers here. I just wanted to get a lot of these scraps used up. This collection, again, has been in my uh, stash for a while um, because it's just scraps and it's hard for me to want to use it. <laughs> uh, so that's another reason like I just love that mood board went with it so well because it really forced me to pull it out and get a bunch of these scraps used up. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to play around with how many more layers I want to do. I'm pretty happy with this. I end up taking off that kind of darker pink. It was kind of distracting, um, but I like this. So from here, I realized I kind of went layer happy and forgot about the recipe for a minute. So I know I already incorporated my mood board. I already matted my cardstock, my layout on cardstock. I'm not worried about the Nouveau drops or enamel dots because I know I'll add those as a finishing touch anyways. 
um, and I'm not quite to the title yet, but I completely forgot about this 3x4 card. <laughs> um, so before I got too far, I did go ahead and add a couple of these green lab labels on here just to note where I kind of want some embellishment. Um, but I panicked because I was like, oh my gosh, I almost completely forgot to do a 3x4 card. <laughs> uh, so you'll see here in a minute I go through. Um, I didn't really have any in the color scheme that I was looking for, but because I have brown um, in a couple different places, I decided to try and pull in a brown pocket card. So you'll see that in a minute. I still don't know how I feel about it. It's a really cute pocket card, but it's kind of a different brown than I already have. And I don't know if it bothers me or not. <laughs> um, but yeah, here's some embellishment I'm pulling in. Still hadn't thought about the pocket card. I'm still just trying to figure out how to embellish. <laughs> but I love this little um, acetate fun that was from Heidi Swap. And here are some matte green enamel dots that I'm really thinking will be perfect for the enamel dot portion of the challenge because it's the perfect green to go with my tent and the cardstock. Um, and then I found this cute little sticker book that I just have neglected. It's so cute and I never use it. But there's a couple kind of bluey aqua um, stickers in here I wanted to try and get on here as well. So you can see me just playing around with those. <laughs> this longer one, it says, oh, happy day. I thought it was so cute. But it was just kind of too long for me to put it anywhere. So you'll see me continue to trim this down. And then I end up not even using it. <laughs> but I messed around with this sticker quite a bit because I just really wanted to use it and then I ended up trimming it down too far and not liking it. So, <laughs> um, But yeah, just trying to figure out some embellishment though uh, before I get going because I just know I have a lot of paper layers but there's not really anything else going on so I needed something to kind of make it more interesting. But here I go starting to trim the sticker down <laughs> and it moves around quite a bit before I just decide to take it off but that's where it's going to sit for now. <clears throat> And then I can't quite see what I'm doing here. Oh, I know for sure I want to use this acetate fun, but there's this really thin plastic film on it to protect it from getting scratched. So I'm just trying to peel that off before I glue it down. <laughs> but yeah, I think that looks cute. I think that's fun and kind of incorporates some uh, detail amongst all the paper layers. And then I, I'm pretty sure this is where I forget about the pocket card and then I go and pull the pocket card out. <laughs> I'm just using my Nuvo glue because it dries clear to get that acetate glued down. But um, yeah, I really, I completely forgot about my recipe at this point. So <laughs> um, once I kind of set down the sticker book, I'm like, oh yeah, I, I should probably get a pocket card on here before I go any farther. <laughs> So I'm gonna go through them really quick and I end up finding this one. It is really cute, I love it. It says, love this, has a cute little white heart on it. Um, my background's already brown, so I didn't think it would be too distracting to have that on there. I just, I still don't know how I feel about it, but <laughs> uh, I'm glad I got it used up. I really need to get better about pulling in my pocket cards because my pocket card stash hasn't changed since I like started scrapbooking. They're still just sitting there, some of the first ones I ever bought and they just get ignored. Um, so I was definitely happy to see that on the recipe because it forced me to pull one of them in. Again, trying to incorporate this patch, but it just is not working in my photo layers. So it ends up just going in the upper left-hand corner by itself at the end. Because <laughs> um, it, is, it is really important that I incorporate that on here, but I just couldn't figure out a way to work it into my paper layers. So um, that's what ends up happening. <laughs> And then I have this other pocket card. Once I started going and I, I got this one glued down, I was like, okay, I like that, but it looks kind of weird having these different browns. Maybe if I pulled in another brown, um, it would make it all kind of go together. So you'll see me pull in another three by four card that's kind of more of a frame style <laughs> and, and tuck that in as well. But I'm back to you, this sticker. I pulled that sticker off and moved it to the bottom left and then pulled in another sticker that says uh, picture perfect. I just wanted some pink up there. Uh, because there's some pink on the bottom layers, but not really at the top. So I'm glad I have pink now up there with all those blues. Um, but yeah, I think this is where I'm looking through. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get my title down because I have my pocket card. I have, I know the enamel dots I'm going to use. The last part of my recipe is to do a three word title. I already glued down this fun. So I thought it would be a, a really good thing to try to incorporate that into my title. So I'm using these tiny little tile alphas. And I'm just saying campsite fun. Um, 
because this is at the campsite. <laughs> so they were also kind of perfect for the mood board because these alphas were kind of a blue to green yellow ombre and it went perfect with this collection. So I'm glad I got those used too because those have been in my stash for a while and I don't think I've ever used them. Uh, so I'm just getting those glued on. And then I think this is where I decide to just go ahead and glue down this patch. So it's going to go up here in the upper left hand corner. <laughs> I'm just gluing it down with my Tombow Mono Multi glue because that stuff is strong and I know that patch is not going to come off. And then um, I think this is where I decide to pull in that frame. So you can see it's a really cool little pocket card. Uh, but I decided to trim out this little speech bubble portion so it just looks like a frame. And then tuck this on either side of the layers just to kind of, um, I'm creating pretty much a visual triangle with the three by four cards. So you'll see where I trim it. And then I'm going to pull that smaller section over to the other side. And then this introduces more brown into these layers. So it's not just brown on the, you know, background of the page. And I'm hoping that makes the other pocket card make more sense. And again, I'm trying to pull in multiple browns so that the, the patch doesn't look so out of place, but I still don't know how I feel about it. I think the frame is a really cool design element. I think that looks super cool. Um, but I think with this collection, I'm just not used to using brown with it and it's throwing me off. But it is look very springy and it does uh, remind me a lot of this really fun mood board. So I'm cool with it. Um, I think I decide, this is where I decide just to toss the sticker. <laughs> I'm done with it at this point. I can't find a good place for it, so it goes back in the sticker book. Um, but yeah, I think we're almost done. I need to get my enamel dots officially on here. Uh, that's the last part of the cut apart. But like I said, or the recipe, like I said, I had the matte green enamel dots that match this tent perfectly. And I think those are so fun. <laughs> uh, so I'm getting those on here. I'm just trying to have them on either side of the photo so there's some balance. And I think those look really fun. And I think having the green enamel dots on this pocket card helped this pocket card kind of belong more as well. <laughs> Uh, so and that's the rest of that sticker sheet too. So that's awesome. But here are the close-ups This one is really fun really different and challenging for me, which is awesome um, But make sure you check out everyone else playing along with scrap five see what they did with this recipe um, This is a whole lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye